All right, let's go to the smoke shop. And then we'll double back to our haven to get the next part of the quest for Mitnick as well. The doorknobs are not ADA compliant. There's very little about this game that is, I would say, up to code. Although some of the neighborhoods we chill in in this game, I guess that wouldn't be an outrageous thought. Because, like, you're not exactly in at least not all the time you're not in like the poshest of neighborhoods there's very much of us like existing kind of at the fringes yo never mind i take it back look at this posh shit nine lives we just got comics on the wall and stuff there's something glowing over there all right who's the contact i can't even get to you my man's like in there tucked in Beckett couldn't wait any longer. The guy left early. He intends to meet someone at the end of the pier. Hope to see you there, Scott. Okay. Good evening to you. I'm just looking around. Hey, how you doing? Uh, ooh, sorry, I don't want to disturb you. We could pick him up. Maybe we'll get ourselves some blood. We'll keep that tucked away for another day. All right. Quickly to the pier. This was restored too. How much of it was restored though? Like were those, did they have to find like community members to do the voice work? Or did they have like voice files and stuff to work off of? I'm always really interested when people, um, when modding communities restore content, like how much of it they had to do. This was not in the shipped game. But like how much of it were they able to find in the files? Like how much of it was restoration versus how much of it was them building something new using design documentation? Ugh, the beach stands alone. The guitar track here on the pier is so chill. All right, we got to meet somebody. I knew there would be a reason we could go down here. They emailed Minnesota. Yo, that's awesome to be like, uh, excuse me, sir. We're we're attempting to put all the things you couldn't into your game. Okay, there's no one here at the end of the pier. Ah, Beckett, the meeting here seems to be a trap. In case I don't make it, check the shop on the move in Santa Monica. I left the door unlocked. My password is the city of the coffin. Beckett, the meeting here seems to be a trap. In case I don't make it, check the shop on the move in Santa Monica. I left the door unlocked. My password is the city of the coffin. Oh, hello, friend. I'd like to shoot you. There we go. That solves it. Oh, and then they like... They were like, yo, to prove that we didn't just make this up, here's the response from Mitsoda. That's pretty rad. They have to find voice actors. They had some music and stuff. And Wesp contacted Mitsoda. Mitsoda was asked via email on October 18th, 2011, about the library. He replied, the library design never even made it into an alpha. It was discussed. Part of the level was built, but that was never... Uh, there was never any finalized quest plans or layout. There was some idea of it being a side quest connected to one of the major characters and the Sabat, but it never really got beyond that. There was also some discussion of an optional boss there, but that was never designed. Uh, that was never designed fully. My memory fails me on a lot of the finer details since it was never a major focus of the design, so the rest had to be improvised. Yo, that's awesome. Because, like, sometimes I, I think of, like, other fairly substantial restored contents like you know there's 
there's stuff like a, a really well-known Skyrim mod called Cutting Room Floor uh, that was able to find a bunch of stuff that was kind of left to the wayside, like some NPC behaviors and some quest stuff. Um, there's a mod team that put together a really substantial restoration of content from Obsidian's Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. But a lot of that was like really well documented in the code. So it's not like they were reaching. They literally were just like going in, finding the assets and then making the, the triggers in the game code that already existed work. Um, that's well, the one for the one for Knights of the Old Republic 2 is a little bit more complex than that, but that's still very much like they had the original developer stuff to work from. All right, that's the bail bonds. What did he say? He said to go to the shop on the move in Santa Monica. Shop on the move in Santa Monica, and the password is supposed to be the city of the coffin. All right, so what's this shop on the move? I'm trying to think of like what building have we not been able to get into? Devil's Brand Tattoo, we know that. Let me go look at a bus map. Let's see. What? Shop on the move. I wonder if there's any way we can press people for info about it. Thanks for coming back. What you need? All right, here's what we got today. I don't need any of this. All right, fine. Good day, sir. I don't think it let me keep the note. Yeah, it just let me read it. Reading it updated my quest log. The shop on the move. I mean, he's talking in code to Beckett, right? Like he's not, he's trying to not be obvious. Investigate the shop on the move in Santa Monica. Password is supposed to be the city of the coffin. Let me duck back into my haven real quick so we can get our update from Mitnick. Hardly call it a haven, my goodness. What a festering pile. The next terminal is in the basement of the Nocturne Theater in downtown Recon to follow. No one can know you were there. Stay out of sight and no killing. I need you to set up a wireless cam. I'll send you instructions on how to activate it. Once it's in place and activated, log into the net security folder Password is break a leg and then run Shreknet. Nocturne Theater Recon. The Nocturne Theater is in downtown just across from the Empire Arms Hotel. I couldn't get a key to the front door, so you'll have to enter through the sewers. Sorry, that's the best I could do. I put the camera down in your mailbox. I had an operative scope out the joint beforehand and mark the best place for the camera with a red X. Find it. It's probably someplace high and mount the camera. Once you've put it in place, log into the terminal downstairs, find the camera folder and activate netcam. You won't be able to activate the hub until the camera is in place. There's a hint somewhere in Santa Monica. All right. Well, look, it's we've been we've been on the move, we've been in downtown, we've been hustling and bustling. Let's uh, you know, let's let's kind of retrace our steps through the old stomping grounds down here in Santa Monica. This is where we originally were making a name for ourselves. All right, let's see here. It's not the tattoo shop. We've been there. 
Seymour's Coffee, Fine Wine Shop. Hmm. Hmm, he said inquisitively. Not Gallery Noir. Let's go to Second Street. I'm like hoping there's going to be like a flyer or an ad. Yeah, Foxy Boxes. Shop on the move. Oh, Gary will swap a poster of Jenna of Jeanette Vorman for a tape of an old movie called Tap Hotel. And then we got more instructions for that. That's not what we want, though. Wait, where's my... The shop on the move in Santa Monica. And the password is supposed to be City of the Coffin. Why is this marked as down? Oh, because it's going to lead me to the library. Need a ride. No, I guess some. Well, okay. I was hoping maybe homeboy. He's on the move. I was trying to get cute here. Did I go to the coffee shop? I think we've been to the coffee shop. Have we not been to the coffee shop? Where is that? It is up across from Mercurio's. Maybe we have not been there. Wait, we've definitely not been there. Why is that shop on the move? Gary's eight poster quest. The main reward is a new sexy poster in your haven. None give you XP except for the last one. That's a lot. So there's the tattoo. Is this the coffee shop? It is. Son of a bitch. Seymour's Coffee Shop will be moving to a new location on the main boulevard of Hollywood, dear customers. Please visit us there soon. Yeah, I'm not big on collection quests. That's not a big, that's not a thing for me. So shop on the move is because literally this shop is moving. Um, I think we're... I think we're going to get ready to get jumped here. Please keep slop sink clean at all, clean at all times. All right. What do we got up in this bitch? What is that? A coaster? Drink sepsy. Absolutely brutalize your thirst. But the posters are spicy. I don't doubt they're spicy. There's some very spicy attitudes in the game. All right. Journal. See, Ankara, I knew that. Like, the clue is easy. Beckett asked me to do research about an ancient sarcophagus for him in the public library. Rather boring stuff, but then I noticed another kindred sneaking around, who seemed to step from shadow to shadow like through a door. Is it a Lasombra? But what is he doing here in LA? Is it about Beckett's sarcophagus? Uh, I'll better follow him. I think that's supposed to be I'd better follow him around the next few nights just to be on the safe side. Right, because of the Ankar and Sarcophagus. But it's like, uh, that's, you'd still, without hacking, you'd be at that for a while. <laughs> it's clever, but it's clever in the way that only people in the know would even have a chance. That's something that's definitely kind of uh, uh, an imprint of the fact that the fan patch is made by super fans. Library activities. The kindred from the uh, library went into that abandoned house downtown tonight. The one uh, with the spray painted red symbol nearby. Oh, so that's where the plague bear was. 
Uh, I followed him and was met by a bouncer who asked if I had been enlightened. I wasn't, so he didn't let me in. I had to comply. Later, the new uh, agent of the prince entered it. Soon after, the bouncer ran out in panic and into the sewers. I followed him all the way to Santa Monica, where he then visited the smoke shop to relax. Okay. Tonight, I followed the kindred himself to Santa Monica, where he entered the junkyard, probably to meet with that weird guy working there. I was still watching the place when, again, the agent of the prince arrived. Suddenly, the kindred stepped out of a shadow, uh, stepped out of a shadow nearby. I hope I wasn't spotted. He took a cab back to the library. Was that, wait, was that the fourth? No. I do not know what this La Sombra is up to. Possibly recruiting for the Sabat? I'm pretty sure that he failed with the junkyard guy, but I really don't know about the bouncer. This doesn't affect the sarcophagus thing, but I still got a very bad feeling with him always returning to the library. I'll contact Beckett and ask for help. I arranged a meeting with Beckett in the Santa Monica smoke shop as that bouncer is irregular there. We should find out what he knows. Beckett can be very convincing. Afterwards, I'll show Beckett the old emergency hatch in the sewers that I used to enter the library unseen. We will search for the Lasombra's lair there ourselves. He searched the Santa Monica coffee shop and found Scott's laptop. The journal noted it's possible to enter the downtown public library using sewer access. It's time to do that. Oh, it is, baby. All right. Really? Wow, they just let me come and go unmolested? Love it. Love it. Oh, hi. Sorry, officer. Let me just put my aggressive shotgun away. All right. Let's grab a cab downtown. Uh, and I guess go peep the library. We can hit the nocturne while we're down there, too. And try and get both those quests iced. Because I want to get... um. I want to get Mitnick's quest done because I'd like to limit how many times I have to go back to the Warren. How the wait, where the hell do I even go to get to the Warren from the back exit? I don't want to have to go through like a fucking puzzle. All right, so we want to get into the sewers so that we might find our way into the Librari. Okay. Where's my nearest sewer access? It doesn't show on here. Why would I even look? Chris, those are on the sewer maps. I think there's one behind Larry. What up, Larry? Keep it on lockdown, cuz. All right. So now... Is this it? Ginger swans. That's what it was. Thank you. I forgot all about it. All right. So it would appear I'm in a library. And as is my custom in the library, I come pack and heat. Daddy D, I do not know what I would do without you reminding me to save. I get so caught up and I'm always so excited about what's going on with story that I never remember. All right, what do we got? Uh-oh. That doesn't work. Why y'all why y'all got to hit me with that ocean house vibe? Did that turn the elevator on? No. Did it break everything? That's to leave. I'm so confused. All right, so I flipped the one switch I can flip. Is there a vent hatch?
vacuum tubes. That's what I needed. I don't know if any of you guys ever watched Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. Tubes. All right, so I think I'm good. This just opens and closes that. It doesn't actually throw the, the fuse. Oh, we in business. This is the biggest elevator in the game. Look, I'm just here for the books. You guys give me the books and no one gets it. All right, come on. This has got big, uh, ooh, look at this. This is from a partially designed level they were able to get this going. That's awesome. All right, I don't wanna have to kill cops. I'd like to not. Wonderful. That way we needn't redo vacuum tubes. Okay, he's patrolling the other way. Look at me learning my vampire tricks. Anyone up here? I don't see anybody. Hot as hell, a series of book readings about the Arizona desert by uh, Dr. David Marsh, professor in environmental studies, University of Arizona. Beep, 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 beep. All right, what are you up to, dog? He's peacing. Can I get into side rooms? Nope, those have painted on doorknobs. Just celerity my way through here. What up, Cardi? Welcome in, buddy. Can I get over here? I can. All right, we got something glowy over here. I think we're alone now. I like that big emergency exit door over there. Hopefully we grab this and we can go, go, go. What do we got here? Library card, this gives me access to the computers. Love it, but not these computers because they're turned off. Oh God, these big emergency doors, they do nothing. What a fool I've been. That one's turned off too. This is a pretty nice library. All right, looks like we're headed back outside. What do you mean, sir? No, nothing? You can't see me from here. I like it when they're not actually in frame enough to like load correctly. And they do like that herky jerky walk. All right, let's try the one on the other side here. Pardon me, sir, don't mind me, just cruising, you know, just cruising. All right, what do we got here? Wait, is this a library or an art gallery? You guys all putting together some, some good looks in here. A lot of pretty cool art pieces. The utility room. This is where I keep my umbrellas. This section managed by Mumbly Joe. All right, we got a computer. Insert card. All right, we don't have five hack, or we don't have six hack rather. But we do now. Awaken. All right, but I gotta actually quit. Oh wait, we can just do an unlock. Switch unlocked. It says art is the secret. 
What is the switch we have unlocked? That looked significant. Wait, did it give me any info on that? No, it just said switch unlocked. I knew it. Why else would the same image be here in a tile in the floor? All right. Oh, Jesus. For whatever reason, I always feel like left click is just going to draw my weapon, not immediately discharge it. Ooh. Wait a minute. All right. Shit getting spooky. This is under a library. Oh boy. What the fuck? Oh, I got lucky. It was just very conspicuous. Wow, they just making decisions for me now. Welcome. Huh? Welcome. Insert party noises here. Yo, C note with the host. What is up? Welcome in. Welcome in. Once again, I see you've begun to embrace the beast within you. Hang on one second. After this dialogue, we'll do some sweetest blood of my brother and some hellos and greetings. But enough with the pleasantries. Witness the power of my flesh. Witness the power of my flesh. Your destruction. Farewell, young Canite. This dude looks like Ted DiBiase in his prime. All right. First things first. Got to hit a shout out. For C note. Ooh, still tidying things up over in Dead Space, huh? How's that going? Welcome in. Welcome in. I hope the stream was wonderful. Is Isaac, uh, is Isaac still alive? Has he slowly descended into madness? Guys, I dropped by C-Note's place the other night. We were still doing uh, some, some spooktober fun. Uh, and he was playing some Dead Space, which is the spookiest of spooky vibes. He's still alive. He's, there, he's all there physically. Mentally? Mm. I don't know. Isaac's losing it. He's not having a great time. Uh, we are playing some Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. This is a 2004 action RPG from Troika based on the tabletop role playing system Vampire the Masquerade. Um, and it is batshit crazy. So 13 chapters left to go. Isaac's, Isaac's been crazy since Dead Space 1. My man, I don't know how he's holding on. I think if you were to go back and look at all the protagonists in uh, like survival horror history, I'd put I'd put Isaac up toward the top of the list for ones that have suffered the most. My man is not he's not having a great time of it. Um, we have tracked down a vampire. We ourselves are also a vampire uh, and we have tracked down this vampire operating out of the basement of the downtown L.A. library. Uh, he works for a clan of very i won't say anarchistic but like just kind of devil may care vampires that are basically trying to destroy everything so we're gonna we're gonna confront him here i know what you're doing in la time to die sabat freak where is he oh jesus oh, shit he's okay he's fast and he hit hard we gotta get i gotta get my gun out please Thank you. Oh, shit. All right. Yo, he is not fucking around. All right. This is a lot. Make him the strongest because of how much he's gone through. I think, you know, Isaac, Isaac has a, um, a unique combination of a, uh, like a psychological advantage as well as the fact that he obviously is more technologically advanced than most of the yo he fucked me up um he's got a huge advantage in technology to most 
So I would put Isaac up there. I'd love to see that kind of like a a survival horror royale. That would be a fun asynchronous multiplayer where you just had all the various survival horror characters um, all kind of duking it out. I think we're going to have to eat an elder blood here. God, whoa, 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 relax. He's from around the same time as when the fifth element took place. Did the timelines actually line up? That would be amazing. I would love it if... Could we get a buddy buddy cop movie done in the style of like a lethal weapon? But instead it is Isaac and Ruby Rod. Both 500 years in the future. I love it. Once again. All right, we already heard this guy. He gave us a broadsword? All right, wait a minute, so hang on. If he gave, whoa, buddy. I was gonna try and be a bro. All right, that's it. Now I'm gonna, it's, it's go time. Look at this pompous ass. Where are you? Where you at? I gotta throw a blood healing though. Where is he? Blood buff and celerity is maybe not a good choice given how much blood I have. Whoa, we took the long way home. Yo, you weren't kidding, level five celerity. I do in fact feel like a goddamn superhero. Give me another blood heal, please. We gotta ditch the blood buff. I just don't have enough blood. Where is he? I heard him. Did he like vamp up on the stairs? Yo, what a dick. Come down, come down and fight me, coward. But not with bullets. Get all wrecked up. It's doing plenty. We got him like half health. I am gonna run into blood issues though. I think we're gonna have to eat our other blood pack it's a shame that i don't have anything in, loaded up in the odious chalice Give me the blood heal i could pull celerity down when he's like in the middle of teleporting you fool i counted how many bullets you used oh shit he fired again how was he firing when i was ragdolling him all right we might need to maybe i'll rush him and then just hit him with the goods Oh God, when I get stuck on these pillars, that sucks so bad. Get worse. Excellent. Yo, weenie with the gift sub for C note. That's very sweet of you. Excellent. Thank you so much. And weenie with the 10 months. You're a legend. Thank you so much, buddy. Enjoy your emotes, gang. I appreciate you. All right, so we killed a dude. You have stopped the Sabbat trial and saved Beckett's friend, Scott, too. We did it. We did it. Get out of here with your, with your crazy pentagram in the basement of a library having ass. Very good. Toast, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. That's very kind of you. Look, we don't, we got enough crazy doomsday shit happening here in LA tonight. We don't, we don't need weird ass library rituals. I'm just saying. Cheers, love. Cheers, love. C note, thank you for the bits. You guys started a hype train, you're maniacs. Absolute maniacs. I appreciate it. Let's hit a save before I try. I wanna, let's. If we could have one mission where we actually are able to sneak past everyone and not kill a bunch of people, that would be swell. Do I have to go back to the basement to leave? I could probably leave through this door that I have now chosen to have him patrolling towards. That has front door energy. All right, let's duck over to the side. Let's let him run his thing and we'll go check that door real quick. This was pretty solid for cut content quest. Cheers, love. Cheers, love. 
Afterlife, thank you for the biddies. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, guys. Oh, well. Oh, the museum didn't go well. The Elizabeth Dane didn't go well. All of that was for naught because these are not actually doors. I feel as though I have been cheated. Cheers, love. Cheers, love. <laughs> Weenie with the bits as well. Thank you. You're out of your mind. You're an absolute maniac. Just do our little dance and dance and place dance. Oh, you guys can't catch me. I've jumped. I'll jump two escalate. Well, 1.2 escalators. There's no stopping me. I'm gonna turn off celerity while we wait for the elevator. Oh Jesus! Fucking rude. Rude. To meet you ass monsters in here. I'm in the middle of trying to get the hell out of Dodge. They just fucking throw Tamichis in the basement. Nah. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Doors are the real bosses. But so are jump scare Tamitri fucking flesh twisters. <laughs> that got me so bad. <laughs> All right, successfully infiltrated the library. Beckett's friend Scott will live another day. God, those things are so creepy. Um, and then what else did we have to do down here? We were going to, uh, we were going to the Nocturne Theatra, which is down this way. So I'm to not be seen. We're supposed to go in through the sewers. So hold up. What up, BNR? Let's head back down to the sewers so we can make our way into the theatera. Excellent. <laughs> Weenie with another gifted sub. You're a maniac. You can't help yourself, can you, Weenie? When you see hype train going, you can't stop. You just love you just love to make sure the bar fills all the way up. <laughs> choo choo, motherfucker! Thank you so much. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not above eating some rats. I would like to keep this coat relatively dry, though. There's a thick fur fringe on this coat that if we get it wet, we're gonna not have a great time. For sure. Doom drain. Get it. All right, so how the hell do I get to the Nocturne Theater? Why can't I uh, look at that sewer map? That's a little frustrating. Oh, hello, squeaky friend. Nom, 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 nom. I don't think it'll let you post links in the chat. I haven't whitelisted. Um, anything in the um, chat bot for allowing people to do specific websites you can post it in the um, you can post it in the gilded server though Very good. afterlife with bits my goodness you guys are crazy those maps travel oh because they can't use the cabs that makes sense and you're saying this is the Nosferatu Haven Yep, so it's not Discord toast. I actually use Gilded, um, which is a little different because my Gilded server also has a bunch of stuff like um, I do like reviews on games and I have a screenshot gallery and stuff. Thank you for the hydrate, BNR. I'll hydrate while my guy hydrates. The Nosferatu in general just seem pretty cool. Like, I guess that's one of the trade-offs, right? Is like because they make the game play so different and so difficult, you got to give them some love on how they work. All right, so let's see here. Where is the Nocturne Theater is three. So access B is what's going to get me into it. How am I wait? How am I that far from the Nocturne Theater entrance? Didn't we come down basically right next to it? 
All right, no matter. So we're looking for access B. After I played the game, oh no, the rap blood won't matter, weenie. Yo, blood's blood. We're just thirsty. After I played the game in high school, I would print out photos of sewers from Google and try to do collages with furniture to imagine my own sewer apartment. You could, I'm sure there's like industrial neighborhoods where you could actually make that happen. That'd be kind of cool. The Nosferatu Haven's convenient, but you get it super late into the game. That would frustrate me. How do, how do their havens work before then? Cause like you need a haven for so many of the quests. The internet wasn't as cool in 2006. That's truthful. That's very truthful. Ooh, hi rat friend. Yum, 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 yum. Thank you, Afterlife. It's also available anyone else who's looking for the Gilded. It is down below in my About section. So you can find it down there as well. All right, we're almost full on blood just, just via rat consumption. Which is, honestly, that's like a good night in LA. It's probably the cheapest dinner you can get in downtown LA. All right, so I am here. So while I'm looking at this right to my right, so I've got to go right, right, and then follow it. Exhausted from your stream. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate you dropping by. I, uh, I had fun hanging out on your stream the other day. Guys, for anyone who has not done so yet, click on C-Notes profile, go on over there and drop a follow. Um, I had a really good time watching some some dead space, so I cannot say enough good things. And thank you again for bringing the raid along and sharing your community with me. That means a lot. I hope you get a good night's rest, man. Aha, we've done it. All right. We've got a theatra that we got to take care of business in. 